Well, right now, 14 million Americans don't have access to the Internet. It's an especially sobering reality for rural communities who are relying on telemedicine. Chris Conti found an idea that could soon save lives by using technology to bring doctors wherever they're needed. The landscape is breathtaking. Where land and sky seem to shake hands is the place Kimberly Danforth calls home. I have been here my whole life. From the edge of Jackman, Maine, you can see Canada. 686 people live here. One of them was Kimberly's great grandfather who started this general store in 1950. When people come here, they come here to get away from it all. Getting away from it all, though, means sacrifice. Okay, let me just go put these out. Perhaps none more vital than access to an emergency room. You sign up to be further away from all of the things that everyone has easy access to when they live in a city. Time is one of those factors that uh, we're always fighting against. As a rural paramedic, Nathan York says responsible for covering an area that's the size of the state of Rhode Island. The remote landscape here, um, the difficult terrain, and just its rural locality uh, make it incredibly difficult to bring resources to the area. Getting patients to the emergency room is a 70-mile one-way trip. So in an effort to save time and lives, the ER is being brought here. I think it's one of those situations where what's old is new again. The idea is a critical access integrated paramedic program. So, Paramedics here are receiving more training in critical care. So this is just we can establish uh, intravenous medications through a pump. While at the same time being outfitted with tools like satellite internet and heart rate yeah. monitors that can yeah. send data wirelessly to a doctor anywhere. And with that new technology, paramedics can instantly connect to a doctor wherever they may end up taking a call. From stitches to ultrasounds, these paramedics are bridging the rural health care gap by being able to instantly connect via video chat to a doctor who might be hours away. It is in many ways like a, a high tech advanced uh, home visit um, that you might have seen, you know, 60 years ago. Finding new ways for rural communities to connect is a key component to the program's success. Nationwide, 25 million people don't have access to broadband. COVID has only magnified the issue. In Maine alone, 36,000 telehealth calls were made last month, up from 650 the same time last year, a 5,600% increase. This is Jackman, our tax map. Town manager Victoria Forkus pushed hard for the program. And we were actually, in a way, forced to initiate this new program early earlier than anticipated because of COVID. I know it's a very small community. The whole thing is costing this community $450,000 a year to implement. Some of the money will come from a tax increase. No small feat in a town where the median income is just $29,000. But out here, the program has overwhelming support. What's the dollar amount on one of our neighbor's lives? Like what's the cost of saving you know, a community member, and it's priceless. The model that we're developing here is a model uh, that's sustainable. Everybody should have access to health care. It just looks different. And to hope that the level of health care in rural America might one day rival the beauty of places like this. In Jackman, Maine, I'm Chris Conti.